In order to understand the coral calcification, it is necessary to have knowledge about anatomy and physiology of sclerotinian corals. At the first view, it seems that coral have a simple anatomy, which includes a mount on the top which is surrounded by tentacles to capture food from seawater, and the polyps which are inside of calcium carbonate structure with name coral lid. But in its bit this simple anatomy, the epithelium layer in the coral polyp have very complex structure. The epithelial layer is included of two sections, the oral and oral part. In the oral and oral part, we have two layers with name ectoderm and endoderm, which separated by a network of collagen called mesogala. The oral ectoderm is known as calicoblastic layer and it is responsible for formation of skeleton. For calcification, corals need to obtain calcium and inorganic carbon from seawater. Before I start to talk about calcium ion transport, I need to explain more details about coral epithelial. In this slide, you can see the epithelial with more details. Two parts in the coral epithelial has more important role in the ion transports, calicoblastic layer and coelanthron. You can see calicoblastic layer in this picture with blue color, which I mentioned the role of it, and coelanthron. Coelanthron act as a temporary place to uptake of ions and transports of ions to the calicoblastic layer. The ion transport in the epithelial is doing by two mechanisms, paracellular and transcellular pathway. In the paracellular pathway, the transport of ion is done by diffusion and it is passive mechanism. In the transcellular pathway, the ion need to enter, cross and then exit from the cell. Then the transport is active and is done by using the cell energy. A study by some research, such as Kinsley and Vatip IP et al. have been shown that two forms of calcium autopause pumps play a role in the transport of calcium molecules. First one is 2A calcium autopause pump, including SERCA and PMR1 pumps that are located in the intracellular membranes. SERCA or sarcoendoplasmic reticulum calcium autopause is a calcium autopause which transfer calcium from the coelanthron to inside of calicoblastic layer and PMR1 type or plasma membranes related calcium autopause 1, which is responsible to change in the calcium hemostasis and cytotoxicity within the cell. And number two is 2B calcium autopause pump, including PMCA calcium pumps, plasma membranes calcium autopause, which are responsible for calcium export from the cell can see in this picture SERCA transfer calcium from coelanthron to the calicoblastic layer and PMR1 export hydrogen to the coelanthron PMCA that is responsible for calcium export to the skeleton and inside of skeleton the calcification by reaction of calcium and bicarbonate or free ion carbonate that already obtained by coral is done. Okay, let's talk a little about pH in calcification. Normally, for coral calcification, it is necessary to see water has aragonite saturation state about 4 and 8.2 for pH. This condition is important to uptake ion by corals. As you can see in this table, there is a little difference 
R ignites saturation state and pH in seawater. Comparison with inside of coalent throne. Inside of coalent throne, the range of pH is 8.19 and aragonite saturation state is a little less than 4 and this condition is necessary to transfer ion by diffusion to inside of coalent throne and the aragonite saturation state under the calicoblastic layer increase from 3.2 in the dark until 25 in the light. The pH also increase until 9.3. This condition is case of precipitation, carbonate calcium in the skeleton, but unfortunately in result of ocean acidification, this chemical balance is disoriented. It means climate change and ocean acidification can have deep effect on the coral calcification and it can stop calcification if we have high decrease in pH. All of three parts of dissolved inorganic carbon, include of CO2, carbonate and bicarbonate, can be uptaken to the coalent throne by diffusion. But the passive mechanism is not the only way to uptake carbonate and bicarbonate. Bicarbonate molecules transport by bicarbonate anion transporter or BAT. Until now, no transporter has been found yet for carbonate. It seems that carbonate, bicarbonate and CO2 can transport by BAT or bicarbonate anion transporter and calcium atvas pump also. Another important ion transporter in the coral epithelial is sodium potassium atvas or NKA which use energy from ATP hydrolysis to export 3 sodium in exchange for the uptake of 2 potassium anions. By NKA activity, in addition to sodium and potassium transportation, the secondary transport for other ions such as hydrogen, bicarbonate, chloride, phosphate, sulfate, water and nutrients such as amino acids and glucose also is done. However, the speed of fundamental function of NKA in the coral cell, there is little information about its location or physiological role in the coral. Between three parts of alkalinity, just carbonate has positive effect on coral calcification and result of increase in the bicarbonate and CO2 amount is negative effect on coral calcification. Of course, the research has been demonstrated that all of the environmental parameters affect on formation and growth of calcium carbonate structure in the sclerotinian corals, light water motion, nutrient, alkalinity, and temperature influence on coral polyps, the morphological form of uh, coral lead and even form of colony. And according to a lot of studies, dissolved inorganic carbon is the most important parameter on coral calcification and formation of carbonate calcium crystal structure depends on dissolved inorganic carbon first. Moribini et al. in 2003 used two different carbonate ion concentration include of low amount 140 micromole kilogram and high include of 280 micromole kilogram to examine the effect of carbonate ion concentration on crystallization of hermatopic corals. They investigated skeletogenesis quantitatively as a calcification rate and qualitatively. They used different hermatopic coral species in two different carbonate environments. The result showed that in the low carbonate concentration, coral have lower crystallization rates in their skeleton, uh, 13 until 18 percent reduction in the calcification rate. A lot of study are agree with him that carbonate ion concentration determine the calcification rate.